So I've been doing these daily warm-ups in Substance Designer to practice my texturing skills and really familiarize myself with the program. And I've discovered some quick tips that really speed up my workflow. And I want to share them with you today. We're counting down from five. So tip number five is dragging a model into the 3D viewport. If you ever wanted to work with a specific model in Substance Designer in your 3D viewport, to import a mesh, you would right click the package, choose link, and then choose your 3D mesh. But to do it even faster, simply drag the file into the 3D viewport and you're done. If your object file has multiple materials assigned to it, when you drag outputs into the 3D view, you can choose the appropriate material to assign it to after dropping it. Or the same happens when you right click the graph and choose view outputs in 3D view. Tip number four, use a base material node to turn your inputs on and off when working on specific maps. The very first thing I do when starting a new texture is create a base material node. I then assign it by right clicking and dragging it onto my 3D view. This allows me to do multiple things. Right away, I can dial in my roughness, metalness, and base color straight from the built-in parameters. If I'm happy with those, I can link them right to my official graph outputs and be done with them. But if I want to use other nodes to create my own maps, I can enable them and disable others to understand exactly what I'm doing in the 3D view. This is extremely useful when working on things like roughness. I can disable the base color to dial in exactly what I'm looking for. Tip number three is useful when trying to figure out what nodes are compatible with the node you're currently working with. We know that there's grayscale data and color data. The way Substance Designer works is that some nodes require you to input an orange tinted connection for color data or a gray tint connection for grayscale data. If you don't have anything selected in the graph editor and hit spacebar, the sky is the limit and you can search for any node you'd like to place in the graph. But if you select a node and hit spacebar, only compatible nodes will be listed. So if you have a slope blur gray... <laughs> Ooh, this is hard to say. If you have a slope blur grayscale and want to add a high quality blur, the correct equivalent will be the only one available to choose from. The same occurs when you click an output for a node and hit spacebar. Tip number two, borrowing outputs from one node and placing them into another. Sometimes I need to get the outputs from a node that is sending its data to many other nodes in my graph. And instead of manually making all those connections myself, I can shift click those outputs and drag them onto my new node. It's a great time saver. And finally, tip number one. Now, if you made it this far, thanks a bunch for watching. And if you found this video useful, would you mind leaving me a thumbs up on this video? It helps me out a lot. Tip number one is using the X key to switch the inputs of a blend node. Now, how many times have you brought your connections into a blend node only to find out that they're in the wrong order or that the, the blend mode for your blend node is, wow, your blend mode for your blend node wasn't exactly the right one that you were looking for. Instead of dragging your connections to your heart's content, hitting the delete key, all that stuff, hit the X key to quickly swap them. This works great on other nodes too, so I try it out. There you go, five quick tips to speed up your workflow in Substance Designer. Now, as an added tip for you Windows users out there, if you press the Windows key and the E key, you can quickly bring up a file explorer from anywhere in the operating system. Now, when I first figured this one out, it blew my mind and it's the biggest time saver ever, especially when you want to drag in your models into the 3D viewport in Substance Designer. I'm Jeremy Siner, and if you'd like to see more tips and tutorials on Substance Designer or other 3D software packages, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.